All right, today I'm recording a quick update in functionality to our moving data using AppScript. We are including in this video moving formulas. So if we move just the data, we have formulas in a couple cells over here. So this is minus uh, F2 minus G2 and then H2 divided by F2. And so this is dynamically calculating a profit and margin. So if we just did values, instead of this being a formula, it would turn into 756. And so then if it's in a different tab and the potential sale gets updated to actual sale, let's say 1500, the 756 would stay the same instead of updating to reflect that change. And so in this case, we would want the formula to remain the same. And so we need to somehow incorporate the formulas and data using app script. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. If you've not seen the original video, I am linking to it in the description below. But otherwise, we're going to take off in this video from where we're at. And so in here, I'm going to, first of all, just reset something real quick. So when we move this data over, we're looking at, you know, let's say prospects, and it moves to the prospects tab. So then it'll show up in the prospects tab, and it'll have this prospect showing up in that first column. So we can go ahead and reset that. We're just gonna go ahead and jump into here and say equals blank. You might be wondering why there's two of these. If you've seen the first video, you'll see that uh, when this data comes through, it comes in as what's called a double array. And so instead of being this first one, like you would think, um, and again, it's a zero base, so it starts at zero, not one. Just to explain that real quick. But um, it's not showing up as uh, a single array because of those get values showing up as a double. And so I just have to do this twice. And so this is basically getting the first row, which is only one row, but it's getting the first row and then the first column in that row. And so this will set that first column to blank. And then let's go ahead and get our formulas. And we can go ahead and just copy this. And we're just going to update this last part to get formulas. And we're gonna do R1C1 because that will actually copy the reference, allow it to be changed dynamically instead of just actually grabbing the same formula. And so for example, just explain that. Uh, let's say we move this last row, uh, which is F19 minus G19, and it moved it to prospects on this first row. If we use just the get formulas, it would stay the same. It would still be F19 uh, instead instead of F2, because now it's on F2. So just explain why we're using this one specifically. All right, so let's go ahead and actually move this append data up here, or append row up there, and then let's deal with the formulas down here. So we need to iterate through these formulas. So when it gets formulas, what it does is it will show up as blank if it's data, and then the value will show up if there's a formula. And so what we can do is if we iterate through these formulas, we can determine if it is a formula or not, and then add it to the sheet. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna use a simple for loop. And we'll do formulas length, i plus plus. And so what this is doing is we're setting i to zero. We're gonna iterate through the length of formulas and actually, let's go ahead and do formula zero there. And then um, I plus plus will set it to the next one. So each time this runs, it's going to check a new value in that formulas. So what we're going to do is do if formulas I is not equal to blank, then we're going to actually set that formula value. So let's get target sheet get last row, and then because we're iterating a column at a time, this is where we're going to do our column. I got to get range there. Target sheet, get last row. There we go. Target sheet, get range. Target sheet, get last row, which will be the same row as this one because the pen row does at the end. So we're getting our last row, and then we're determining our column based on the iteration here. And then we're gonna do set formula, R1C1, and then now we can set our formula. So that's zero and I. 
All right, so that should do it. Since this is a new project, I need to go ahead and authorize this and then we'll test it out. I'm gonna click run, review permissions. And this is normal when you do an on edit because it's trying to find out what this E is, but since we're running it from this editor instead of in the sheet, it's not coming up with anything since this E is provided by Google. So now if we go to here, let's just pick Sally Ann and let's move her to prospects. So hit prospects, I should move here in a second. All right, it doesn't seem to be moving. So let's go ahead and check our executions and troubleshoot what this is. So we have our first failed when we authorized it. And then we have another one here. Formula is not defined and this tells us code and this is line 24. So if we go to code line 24, we can see here, so formula is not defined. And so we call this formulas and then here we have formula. So I need to just add an S there. If we hit save. All right, let's go ahead and just reset this and try it again. Prospects and now it moved. All right, and here we go. And so let's check this out. Here we have our formulas and they did convert to the way they should have. So now if we update this sale, we can see those numbers change. All right, let's go ahead and move back to leads and see if it still functions. And there it is. And sure enough, it updated to the correct reference. All right, that's all it is to move formulas and data using AppScript. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to check out our other videos on Google Sheets and AppScript.